Hey guys, it's Comcollywood Studios here. In today's video, we're going to be going over some new announcements and reveals that have been made on the Six Flags Great Adventure website regarding their most popular event of the year, which is Fright Fest. They've revealed a couple of new mazes that will be coming to the park for this season, as well as a new scare zone. So we're going to be taking a look at that on the website, and I also love the design of the website. I love the dark aesthetic of it. Really gets us hyped up for Fright Fest, which is only a couple months away now. Really, only one month away. We just entered August, which means we're in the home stretch to get towards the Halloween season. But we're going to scroll down and take a look at the haunted houses, which are very exciting because we have two brand new ones, which is Saw X and The Conjuring. Magic Mountain will also be having these. I'm not sure if other Six Flags parks will too, but The Conjuring Maze will be based off the original 2013 film, and Saw X will be based on the upcoming movie that will be releasing this year. We don't know exactly where the park will be having these mazes quite yet. That hasn't been revealed, but we do see that Aftermath, Bloodshed, Reflections of the Dead, and Big Top Terror will all be returning. Judging off the fact that fears in the manor are not present, I'm going to assume that The Conjuring and Saw X will be taking place inside the former Right Stuff building. That's just kind of my assumption. What I do find interesting is that Aftermath is actually returning this year. Judging off the fact that we've seen some markers in the Metropolis area, and there may be markers behind that wall where the Aftermath maze takes place. It is a little surprising to me that they are still having it, but this could be the last year. Again, this is getting into speculative territory. We just know that it is in fact happening this year. And then down here we have two different scare zones that I have not seen before, which is the Conjuring scare zone as well as Pirates. So my guess is that the Pirates maze, or the Pirates scare zone rather, could be near Joker, as that whole area does have a slight pirate theme with Buccaneer and Harley Quinn used to be themed to Blackbeard's Lost Treasure Chain. If not there, it could be literally anywhere else in the park. They could be doing that in Frontier Adventures and giving it a slight spin on the Western theme. We're not sure where that is quite yet, and neither with The Conjuring, although if The Conjuring Maze may be taking place in the Right Stuff building, which is on the boardwalk, it's a good possibility that The Conjuring Scare Zone would be right around the maze. But again, this is just a guess. We don't know for sure. And we do have the fan favorite shows returning, Dead Man's Party, Unleashed, and The Awakening. The Awakening is the show that happens at the start of Fright Fest where all the monsters walk out. Unleashed is one of the best shows they've ever had. It is a Circus Olay style Halloween show, which is really, really great. And of course, Dead Man's Party is a very musical oriented show with some special effects. It's a really, really great show. But overall, I'm very excited to check out Fright Fest this year, especially with the two new mazes. Definitely going to spice things up this year. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you guys are excited for Fright Fest at Six Flags Great Adventure. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.